Hey friends, it's Brian. Uh, it's another HVAC video. I'm feeling frisky today. So uh, my buddy, my best friend has got COVID. So I'm gonna move this by myself. Fingers crossed it goes well. Anyway, uh, remember to like the video if you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more and click the alert or the bell icon so you find out when I release new videos. Uh, also, check out the playlists. That's how I organize the videos. The rest of this project is under the HVAC playlist. So, where are we headed with it? So, we got to move this without destroying those into here. And then it's got to roll over and go back there. Not snag that copper tubing. And go up on those um, uh, half height... Uh, universal bars and be held up by the ceiling. This should be fun. And, you know, it would go a lot easier if I had help, but the person who would normally help me is out sick. And I'm tired of not having a central air conditioner. It's been six weeks. And that's okay. I've got a window rattler and a mini split that are keeping me okay downstairs but I have the energy to mess with this right now and really honestly once it's in there I can hook the pipes up in just a couple hours or the tubing so anyway as you can see there is not a lot of space here So the question is, how do we do this? Well, for one thing, we got to get that piece of cardboard out. Actually, I think I need a smaller piece of cardboard. Well, let's hold that thought. I'll be right back. So if you're going to work by yourself, like I do a lot, you got to work smart and probably a little bit hard too. But courtesy of Amazon's uh, just crazy box budget, yeah, they sent me a drill bit in this box. Um, I have more cardboard than I know what to do with. There we go. Now I bet I can just slide this. Well, not entirely, but that got me a lot further along. Without tearing up the carpet or the equipment. So at this point, it's gotta go that way. Let me move the camera. And, you know, a second person would make this a whole lot easier, but there's only one of me, so it is what it is. And it's got to go back here anyway, so that looks pretty good. I really don't want to rip this unit up quite yet. It's brand new. So anyway, it's in here. Now it's gonna roll forward and into the attic. So I apologize, you guys are gonna to get to watch my butt for a minute, but it'll be okay. I just gotta get these hangers out of here. I'm going to hang them up because otherwise they're going to fall down there and behave badly. They might still fall down there and behave badly. 
I should have moved them up here and hung them up when I did this, but I didn't. So here we are. And they just need to, these are cheap hangers. Honestly, I should throw them away, but I'm cheaper than they are. So. And it's always good to remember that everything in AC is sharper than a razor blade. So let me move the camera and you guys can watch more. So I have a charming clearance in here. To put it mildly, the clearance is charming. really isn't as bad as it looks. <sighs> like I said, I was feeling froggy today, so here we are. some fit issues. We'll solve those next. Oh, we're going to have more than fit issues. Because this unit is shorter as well as the uh, this unit is just totally different. <clears throat> All right, so now it's in here. And these are going to have to make a loop to get up here. And that's Honestly, not the end of the world. This one may not need anything. This one is going to need to be extended. So right off the bat, it's just going to get turned. Uh, and then we'll, we'll deal with uh, the rest of this. Th there needs to be a pan here. So this, this is going to have to get fastened down. So next I need to figure out, yeah, I think I'm going to have to redo my plenum adapter. <sighs> I was hoping to get out of that, but my options are bad and badder. Uh, 
I could put some two by fours across this because I don't have access to the rafters and I'm not gonna make access in order to slide this this way, although that would be, that really would be nice. So, let me show you what I'm working with here. I've got a good six inch gap there and that is just, that, that fit the Goodman uh, exactly. And this is a completely different size unit. It is shorter, narrower. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a different size unit. So to make this work, I would need to build an adapter. There's just no two ways around it. Now, one of the things I could do is cut this box off and build a metal one. I was trying to get away from doing a bunch of metal work because I don't, I don't have the tools for it. I could also go buy a piece of duckboard and build one out of duckboard too. It's not that hard. And, um, you know, that might be the simple solution. <clears throat> In the meanwhile, I have to decide how I want to do this. Um, and like I said, my options are bad and less bad. You know, so there's my control wire that'll power this and it's, it's going to go in through one of those and then I'll, that's going to get all sealed up. Uh, and I've got to bring in power, so power might as well come in through the top. Uh, that way I only have one place and then I can just seal these completely so dust and dirt and shit don't get in there. I need to install the heat kit. Uh, that might, should maybe have gone in before, but um, we'll see. Worst case, I have to undo this and block it up. And I think that's probably what's gonna have to happen. I'm putting a 5KW heat kit in it, and the 5KW heat kit has a separate 30 amp power supply to run it. Um, whatever. <clears throat> the filter has always been down here. I've always used the attic as a plenum. Um, this really would work better if the um, unit was further down. I have to think about that, though. I really do. And the reason I need to think about that is I'm already, that's, that's the end of that. Well, actually I take that back. So I could put it, but then it would be sitting on this and it would be in the way of the filter change. So the only other option would be put runners under here and slide it that way. But then um, that could cause issues with the drip pan, which frankly could happen anyway. So it becomes a question of the lesser of two evils. I think we're going to rebuild the plenum takeoff. That's really the only thing that makes any sense to me is to rebuild the plenum takeoff. Um, 
it was a colossal pain in the ass last time to get in there and do this, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I really, I should have just taken that whole plenum apart and rebuilt the whole damn thing, but that's a whole other story and I didn't want to go there. And the only other real option would be to move the whole kit and caboodle that way. But like I said, I don't have access to, uh, you know, I guess I could get rid of the bars that hang it off the roof. But I, I like having it on the roof because it makes it quiet, real quiet. Yeah. So I think that's it for the moment. I felt frisky. I was frisky. I got it in here. Um, at this point, let me look at this. Yeah, we are well not level. I don't know why this isn't level. I need to get my level and level the unit itself. And um, I think this is where it's going to sit. Um, and then we will... Uh, I, I, it's going to be next week before I can buy a piece of duckboard because today's Saturday. Ain't nobody going to be open that sells duckboard. I don't think Home Depot sells it. I don't think Lowe's sells it. So, And I still don't know where my duckboard tools are. So, yeah. Now, no, I'm not going to rig it up. I probably could but I'm not going to. Um, this gets me to feeling closer to having air conditioning. At least it's in the attic again. Um, it, it could very easily um, be installed, but we're, we're not going to go there today. Uh, I don't think there's a nice way to do this. <clears throat> well, you know, I could put a piece of duckboard there and cut. No, that, that, that would just look like shit. That would look like what it is. <clears throat> yeah, so I really think the right thing to do is to redo this transition. Even though it is a butt ton of work and it's hard to get to. I think that is the right solution. So I can slide this down to create access. I just have to know exactly what my, you know, like I need to pull that out and do all my measurements, put the piece together <clears throat> and uh, bring it back in and then slide this out of the way to get access back there to mount it and seal it. And um, yeah. And on the bright side, there's some crap that's growing inside that piece of duckboard anyway, because it was sucking dust through cracks. So, you know, that's actually not going to turn out too terribly bad. Um, all right, so I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. It's short and sweet. Got this thing in here. It shows you how it can be done by one person. Um, and uh, work smart, not hard. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below.